So let's walk through a scenario. You show up to a networking event, and all of a sudden you find yourself face-to-face with the recruiter from your dream job. What would you say? Would you have a pitch of yourself locked and loaded and ready to go? Or would you, like most people in the analytics field, kind of stumble through a pitch of yourself? That's what we're going to talk about today, is developing a 30-second elevator pitch of how to sell yourself for a new potential job. In two weeks, I'm going to be giving a talk on sales analytics at the Tableau User Group here in Greensboro. After that talk, there's going to be a segment called Have a Job, Need a Job. And this is a concept that we borrowed from Jesse Bickman at the Raleigh Tug. If you are looking for a job, you get to stand up and talk about yourself for 30 seconds. And if you're looking to hire someone, you get to do the same thing, but vice versa. And this is a huge opportunity for those looking to land an analytics job. The last Tableau user group we had here in Greensboro, over 60 people showed up, and that was across 28 different organizations. So all of a sudden, a job seeker can find themselves up in front of an audience of 60 people who, number one, they're all Tableau enthusiasts or using Tableau in their job function. And number two, they're at a bunch of different companies. So we've put together a template of how to talk through your experience and who you are as a Tableau developer. I want to talk through four key things to keep in mind when you're giving an elevator pitch. Number one, you're going to want to highlight your achievements rather than your experience. Just because you've had five years of relevant experience, that doesn't mean that you've done much. Because someone can kind of coast through a job for five years and do just the bare minimum. But if you have a resume that is just chock full of examples of you going way above and beyond, that makes you a whole lot more palatable for those that are looking to hire someone new. And I would have my achievements front and center of any conversation I'm having with a recruiter. Number two, keep it simple. I think a lot of people in technical jobs have a tendency to overcomplicate things. And it's understandable. If, if you're doing something that's very complex, it feels like, you know what, I deserve to get paid for this and I, I'm vital for my company. But the trick to selling, which is very different from a technical skill, is influence. And going to huge depths to explain your expertise, it's just going to have them glaze over and they're going to get bored of your conversation really quick. But if you can, like number one, highlight the big achievements and then talk a little bit about how you achieved each of those or how you thought about it. All of a sudden, you're you're crafting a much more interesting and engaging conversation. And that leads us to our third point, which is tell a narrative, if possible. If you have one huge achievement that marks the past five years of your experience, you should spend a good bit of your time in your pitch talking about that. It's much easier for people to understand a story or a narrative rather than just a list of facts. Number four is to define what industry or what specific space where you can make an impact. This helps you quickly weed out people that are not a good fit for you. We're working with sales analytics, marketing analytics, and nonprofit impact analysis. And I tailor my conversation to a new potential client based on what their needs are. So if they are a nonprofit, I'm not gonna tell them about sales analytics because typically speaking, if they're a nonprofit, they don't have sales in the traditional sense. I get it, selling yourself is a little uncomfortable, especially if you're in a more technical role and you see yourself as valued for the value you can bring with your skill set. That being said, it is very important for you to sell yourself. If you found this video useful, that's great. Please like and subscribe if you'd like more content.